the moment here in Seattle a look at the Mariners starting lineup anybody catch your eye Eric well I think the focus has to be on the man hitting third he's approaching 100 RBIs on the season a run producing milestone that anyone would be proud to reach no offer on that one two balls and a strike well this is the kind of situation where they came up short last night they had opportunities but they could never really cash them in so you can bet they'd love to get something going on the board early here. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Well, I just don't think he was expecting that one, and it was the perfect time to just take a little off. Chop foul at the plate, and we'll do it again. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. And with that, let's take a look at the defense for the visiting Oakland A's. It's brought to us by Majestic. EK, what do you got? Well, guys, the center fielder in this one, as Ball good as inside. anybody out there in the field. Has a lot of speed, can cover a lot of ground, and most importantly, he's very reliable. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. The and that one never threatened two. the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. EK, where are you going now on three and two? I still got to work a corner. Not just going to throw it right down the middle and grab a strike. Can't be a giveaway pitch. Here comes the payoff pitch. That's nope, down that's low. That's it's ball four. four. And they're at the corners now with two away. Miguel Montero that will get good. his first opportunity that's here. It. And as you can see, Miguel he's got that average Montero. up over the 290 mark to begin playing. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And he'll fall behind now to 1-2. and two. fought off at the plate and we'll do it again he got him and exhale as he's out of the jam and the inning is over we'll head to inning number Tim Money will get a second shot at it now. He doubled to start out the home first. Well, he hit the fastball, so we're going to see right here if they still come at him with the hard stuff. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Line towards center field. Chris has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first time. At the plate, Stephen Vogt. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Carrasco pauses. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. And this is taken for the out. So no runs on no hits. One error in the inning. But Tim Money steps in, working on a one for two game so far. Second baseman, Tim Money. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a swing, and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll get back there to make the catch in front of the screen as they retire their man here for the second out. Austin. Brett Laurie comes to the plate here, and we'll see how they play it with that leadoff man on base. Yeah, and in this situation, you've got to move that runner to second any way you can. So we're going to see how they decide to play it right here. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Oh, way to get dirty. To first. He's oh. out. Wow. Made it look easy. 
Well, I'll tell you, one thing you can say about most second basemen, they are not afraid to get dirty out there. This ball is ticketed for right field, but then look at the play here to pull this one in. And then he's able to steady himself and make the good, solid throw to first base to get his man. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. A's have to settle for... Tim Money will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, that's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this would be the time that they finally cracked the scoreboard. Tried to golf at it, but he missed strike one. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Nope. And he Hold won't on. offer it that. Too high. One and two. The count is one and two. Line drive to left. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. Around third, here's Spann for the plate. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's now a two-to-one ball game. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. Austin Jackson will step in now in a big spot. First three plate appearances. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. In now, Tim Money. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Boy, he had a great at-bat last time up, and he'll look for another pitch he can drive right here. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. He will definitely give you something to think about up there. There are no comfortable at-bats against this guy. Slapped hard the opposite way. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Austin Jackson Austin. comes to the plate now with the tying run at first. So... Quick check on that tying He's run at first. And the runner back. Coming home with the 1-1 pitch. Pitch inside the throw. And no throw as he'll just hang on to it. And that's where speed can definitely change a ball game. He's able to get into second here with two away. So now. Lead and the runners breaking for third. It's outside the throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. And for me, that's taking too much of a risk when you're the tying run. If you get thrown out there and end the inning, you need to find a different dugout to go sit in because your manager will absolutely wear you out. Hit out of play, and it's a full count now. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Good battle. Count remains full. Spoils another one and will do it again. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. And he struck him out. And the ball game is over as they get the possible tying run over to third but can't get him across. And that's just about what we've come to expect out of this guy so far this year. He picks up save number 35 by finishing off this victory. This one, definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score.
And boys, probably a handful of deserving candidates for our top player of the game award. But what do you say we go ahead and give it to the man who shut the door out of the pen? Yeah, it's nice to have someone like this that you can call on to finish things out for you. And he came on to slam the door shut. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to the show. So we're going to see a pinch hitter here with the bases empty and one gone in the inning. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Tim Money. Well, he's waiting on the breaking ball there and sends it to deep right field. A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. The Striding in and working on a terrific Austin performance Jackson. in this one, Austin Jackson. And we'll see if he can put together... He's running towards second, and he misses with it, ball four, so the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. So it's a tight spot here, first and second, one man out, and standing fourth. Now both runners are breaking. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. It's there in plenty of time. He's out trying to steal third as they get the lead runner here. Oh, on the ground is short. Zobris. On to Rizzo, and it's a double play. First baseman, number 16, Billy Butler. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Zobrist. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So no runs here on two hits. No Grounded to short. Money. Throw on to first. Gets him, and the side is retired. The batter, number one, shortstop, Tim Money. Stepping in now, Tim Money. As the first Whoa, pitch misses there. to him, it's ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Oh, no two strike. very good takes here. You can see they're trying to get him to hit something on the ground, but he's going to make him bring something up. And he gets a round on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Do little pauses. Here it is on two and one. Ball that Lays side. off the change up and he's ahead in the count now. Three and one. Well, this is a good fastball spot for him now. And keep in mind, he's got a big hole on that right side of the infield. You got a There's count. the good fastball and, and he can't catch up. Three and two. Boy, he sure can sling that thing, can't he? He sure can. A very wide arm angle comes from the first base side. It's not straight either, it's moving. On the ground to the right side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. He's in and the recovery throw is too late, and there are two on with one. And the Mariners were given a big boost today by the play of this man, Austin Jackson. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, I think in the end, this really could have been anybody's award, but what the heck? Let's go.
You see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout, but in the end, he really helped lead his guys to this victory. No errors. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Angels are winners here, 6-4. to four. Good night from Anaheim. The same to Garrett Richards. The loss goes to Taiwan Walker, his 13th loss of the season. Time of the ball game, three hours and 15 minutes. Thanks for joining us this evening, and please drive home safely. Pounded out 17 hits in this one as they nabbed the extra innings win over the Mariners 10 to 9. As and now time is called here with the potential tying run over at first. They're not going to take any chances as they've made the move to a pinch runner now. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out. Runners on the move for second. Ripped on the ground to first. And this will work as a sacrifice as they get the out at first, but the runner moves into scoring position at second base. Luke Gregerson will get the call now as he'll try to get the final two outs here and get this one on to the ninth inning. Two runs, eight hits, and one error in the ballgame for Seattle. Pickoff move to second, and the runner back. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw, and he Ow. nails him at third. Great throw. Big bat tonight for the Astros belonged to this man, Colby Rasmus. Picture perfect there. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, I think in the end, this really could have been anybody's award. But what the heck? Let's go ahead and give it to this guy. He's as deserving as anybody. Coming to you from Seattle tonight, where the roof at Safeco Field has been closed for comfort. It's the penultimate game of the year between the American League's Houston Astros and the Seattle... Tim Money will get his first opportunity now. 14 home runs to his credit so far this year. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Keiko gets the sign. 0-1 oh, on its way. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Rasmus giving chase. He's got it one away. With a moment here in Seattle, a look at the Mariners' starting lineup. Eric, who stands out to you? Well, I love what Kyle Seeger brings to the table for this team. Now to the plate, Tim Money. He flew out in his last at-bat. 
left side. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Tim Money will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. Second base. Tackle pauses. First pitch on the way. Chop foul at the plate. Strike one. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll reach over to his right to take this one in. Edgar Rideout is set to get us started for the late innings of this one. Sent on the ground out to second. Money scoops it up. Oh, he may have been a little disoriented there or something. That's going to allow his man to reach first safely. Well, uh, I've been around baseball all my life. I've seen a lot of things, but I don't think I have ever seen that. I have no idea what he was thinking. Jed Lowry comes to the plate, and he'll start us off in the eighth. And so far in this ballgame, he hasn't even been on base yet. So here. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. Now, there you see the numbers from his last Andrew appearance, Andrew. and they are not Andrew. too good. He gave right up now. a run, and he took the loss in relief. He's going to look to bounce back right here. And down in the Mariner bullpen, it looks like a right-hander's up to throw. Edgar Rideout comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. Back goes Span to the track, to the wall. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to left. Home run number 16 for him on the year, as this is now a five-run cushion. Money Into the windup and the pitch. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Ah, not able no to hold on there as he swings through a pitch in the dirt, and it doesn't look good for him now. Down 0-2. Oh, and he sure got a good one, doesn't he? That ball goes oh. from about knee-high to ankle-high in the matter of about five feet. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Wow, a real sharp not break bad. to this thing. It's a slider. He starts it out over the middle of the plate. Well, the hitter thinks he's got something that he can handle, and then this thing just makes a beeline right for his hands. That is a tough pitch. Here's the first pitch to him. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. No movement on base. It's ball one. I needed to lay off that pitch upstairs, but it's one and one. But this is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball that's up the ladder at 92, 93. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And a swing and a miss on a good pitch. And the Mariners are down to their final strike now. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone. But when you miss in the throw to first, it'll be in time to get him. And the Astros have bounced back from losing the opener to take games two and three of this series as this one is over. The big bat tonight for the Astros belong to this man, Chris Carter. Take a snapshot of that. He's our top player of the game.
And I think all Fans things considered, this was really a team out there. No errors. They left two men on base. And now a bit of a surprise here as we'll have a pinch runner take over at third base now. So stepping in, Mike Napoli, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Nervous time now in that third base dugout. Heck, nervous time up here. Great My ball. heart's racing, and I'm just watching this game. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Swing and a liner. Foul. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And another foul ball. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. So That's there's four. ball four. And it wouldn't surprise me a bit to see the next guy get four wide ones as well. The batter number 19, Kyle Seeger, will come on now and pinch run here. Ben Zobrist settles into the box in a big spot. Tying run at third, winning run at first, where a ball into the gap might be able to end it. Here it is on three and one. And he drops a change in on him there, and that'll run it full three and two. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. Hot shot to third. Valbuena on to first, a double play. Now batting the shortstop. Bounce to first. He's got the second for one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. This is always a tough throw here for a first baseman coming off the bag. You gotta make sure that you don't just throw the ball right into the runner's back heading down to second base. Here he takes just a little extra time to make sure that he makes a good throw. And they're gonna settle for just one at second. A tightly contested ball game here, so it makes it hard to find our top player of the game, but I think this fellow right here would seem to be the logical choice. Yeah, and I think we probably could have given this award. Welcome to the show, everyone. Thanks for making us a part of your morning. Let's jump into the latest news from around the Major League Baseball postseason. The Red Sox took down the Nationals in Washington 4-2. to 